Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. I am Shay Rippinger here of Hip the Hoopla with a hoop love y'all show. Okay, I was just demonstrating a little hoop move, hoop combo move that I will be, I'm teasing that, that I will be uh, demonstrating and giving you a little hoop tutorial. That'll be the third segment of the show. In this show, welcome to the Hoop Love Y'all show. I am your host, Shay Rippinger of Hip the Hoopla. And here on this show, with the Hoop Love Y'all show, I talk about health, humor, and hooping. And this is a special series. This is a six-part series of love and loss from grief to peace. So it's going through the stages of when things aren't the greatest, when it could be a very, very low point, but I'm helping myself and others try and get through um, to have better times ahead. So we all go through these things at some point in our life. It may not be happening to you right now, or may, maybe you're deep in the thick of it right now. But anyway, hopefully these tips and suggestions will help with with that. So, alrighty. So, I'm going to adjust here for a second there so I don't have to adjust the camera again. All right. So, uh, this is number four of six of this series. And the stages of the the heal, the grief to peace process, um, there are six that I came up with that um, and it's not, you know, the, these are not all original, you know, things. Uh, these have all been thought of before and experienced by different people. It's just that this is my way of getting through these in a way that might help others. So that includes grief. I covered that in episode of the first episode of this series. Grief, loss, mourning, and this one is reflect. So reflecting um, is the theme of this particular show. So uh, this, you know, when when I'm talking about how I got into this particular series is um, I this last week I lost my uh, 19 and a half year old cat Capri and uh, and I was even you know just when you think you're getting through things okay and then somebody brings something up and then you know you get back into that space where you're just like, ah, oh, and your heart is heavy. Um, so this could be representative of a loss. It could be something that's missing, something that is an ending. Um, it could be, you know, all kinds of different things. It could be a job loss, a loss of a partner, a spouse, a uh, child, a um, uh, illness. It could be just something that really weighs heavy on your heart. So. The stage that I want to talk about is reflecting stage. I have a really neat little quote uh, quotation that um, this part of the reflecting stage is going through when you you know you're sad, you've been crying, but also to reflect on some of the happier times too as well. So not just to dwell and sit in the 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 sadness of this, but to reflect on the goodness of having had um, this experience in your life. And so this quotation. Um, I'm going to read you the quotation first and then uh, attribute the source. So, how lucky I am to have something that, that makes saying goodbye so hard. I can barely say that without crying. So, how lucky I am to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. And that's a quotation by Winnie the Pooh. So, it's a, a kind of a neat quotation there. Um, but, yes, to reflect and do some of that. So, my health recommendation... Um, that goes in along with the reflecting is sometimes when we're in the sadness, when we're in this loss, when we're in going through this process, we need to take good care of ourselves through this process. And I know sometimes it's all that we can do to just get up out of bed and, you know, hold our head up and take another breath and, and do some things. So I had rec I've been recommending in the series some things that are helpful for self-care. And um, one of these is nutrition. So nutrition is very helpful. So I, I know you, you, you know, sometimes we want to reach for something that's just easy. Um, you know, during these times, comfort food is, you know, sometimes it's what, what you're going to do. So, um, and, and there's a reason why we call it comfort food. It, it's, uh, it's been around for a long time. It could be mac and cheese. It could be, I don't know, whatever, whatever it is for you that brings you, you know, to your memories of, of something that, you know, kind of wraps you like a warm blanket. Um, I would encourage you to get some, you know, even if it's just going 
to a juice place getting a juice or if you can make a juice yourself or a smoothie something that is a little bit healthier you know each um, each choice that we make is a little bit you know is is a is a decision in the moment so every one of those that you can make um, that's going to help your immune system it's going to help get back into the swing of things of you know getting getting your health and your emotions and mental health back in alignment to be able to deal with all the other things you need to deal with in life okay so and on that note as well with nutrition one of the things um, I think a lot of times when we're down we're we're reaching for something for energy and a lot of times we're reaching for caf caffeinated things you know coffee tea whatever uh, a soda um, and what I would recommend instead of reaching for one of those is to reach for some B vitamins B vitamins give you natural energy and you can find those a lot in foods but you know even if you have some uh, some um, B vitamins in a pill format they're going to give you a little higher dosage and they're going to be a little bit more uh, of an effect for you and you'll be amazed at how this can just help brighten you up just a little bit just give you a little bit of energy because sometimes it just takes a lot of energy just to you know take a deep breath in roll the shoulders back and just hold your head up for a little bit so sometimes that's a big effort so get, get some B vitamins in and that should be helpful okay now on that, that's so those are my health recommendations. And on the humor note, I'm going to do a little laughter yoga exercise. So I was just previewing a move. So this laughter yoga exercise is going to go into our hoop combination move, and it's a dance move. And uh, so I'm combining a little bit of laughter yoga with a uh, hoop dance move, or well, with a dance move. And you know, you can consider it a belly dance move. I encourage you to try this with me and just move along with it and move at your own pace and see how you do with it. So what we're going to do, is we're gonna, this is all about the arms. So, and I'm going to back up here and actually stand up and do this. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing snake arms. So what we're doing is we're raising an elbow up and then raising it down, or lowering it down, and then raising the other elbow up and lowering it down. So raising up one up, so inhale it in, and we're going to try this with a smile. So I want you to try this also with a nice, uh, good posture as well. If you're sitting in a chair, you're welcome to sit in a chair. Um, make sure you have enough arm space around you, and um, also take and get the posture up. So we're going to roll those shoulders back, take a nice deep breath in when you do that, leave that that chest lifted, and then we're going to take the right elbow up. And then that down and then the left elbow up and then down so we're going to take an inhale in with one side and then exhale it out other side if you can't smile with this inhale it in and exhale it out inhale it in and exhale it out one more time inhale it in and exhale it out and then at the end of laughter yoga exercises, or as the dance exercises this may be, it, it kind of fits the bill for both. We're going to take our hands together and do this with me twice. We're going to take the together and go very good, very good, yay, very good, very good, yay. Okay, and on that note, while I'm still standing, I'm going to show you and go right into that hoop tutorial move. So, and then we might even have a short show. <laughs> so, um, again, um, and the, that laughter that, uh, you know, it, it's a fake until you make it laughter and smile sometimes. So, even if you don't feel like doing that, try a little bit. And that's going to help raise, it's going to help lower some of those stress and cortisol levels and help raise some of the endorphins. So, we're going to change that balance around from sadness to a little bit of more happiness. Okay, so what we're going to be doing, I'll demonstrate this, is it's a wrap snake arm combo. Okay, so what we're going to be doing, if you have a hoop, I highly recommend a small hoop for this one. You could do any size hoop. I'm using a small one because I need to fit in a camera space here. So, everything's going to go down in the background behind me. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm taking the hoop in my right hand with an inside grip and I'm wrapping it around the left shoulder. And as I'm wrapping it around the left shoulder, I'm placing it on the shoulder so I can lift up a little bit if I want. But I'm going to be gra grabbing with the left hand and I'm going to be grabbing with an outside grip and then bringing it out with those snake arms again. And then bringing it out with the left hand and then I'm going to wrap it around the right shoulder and I'm going to grab underneath so the pinky is going to lead on this pinky leads out and I'm going to take those snake arms out and then I'm going to wrap again 
reach under. So you're going to do this like weird little hand flip. Pinky's going to lead as it brings it out with the snake arms. So you're bringing the hoop up and out. So it's a little bit of, so that's why doing these moves with me helps. So we're building and doing this wrap combo. So we're doing, so it's elbow up, elbow down, elbow up. Elbow. So one elbow leads up, other elbow leads up. As, and as one is coming up, the other one's going down. Okay, so once again, I'll do that again, uh, again with slow motion. So you're doing this equally on each side. So both sides of your body get a little bit of a mental and physical uh, action going on here. So th this is a little bit of a thinker move. So again, right hand, I'm starting with my right hand. You could start with your left hand, but I'm starting and I'm wrapping. So I'm doing a little bit of a fold across the chest as I wrap, grip, and the pinky is going to come up. So as this comes out, I'm going to shift it over. And as I'm shifting it over, I'm taking it out. So in, out, up. In, out, up. In, out, up. In, out, up. Okay. So, and remember that move because you might, wink, 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 nudge, nudge, nudge. See that in the uh, 2020 uh, World Hoop Day Dance. So, yes, I am working on that already. So, <laughs> Alrighty, so I really appreciate you joining me here with the Hoop Love Y'all show. Thank you so much for taking your time and joining in and commenting and uh, letting me know how you are getting through the things you're, whatever you're going through, type them into the comments. Um, hit it's the thumbs, if you're watching on YouTube, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you're watching on Facebook, um, like and share and uh, you do all of that like page um, I'm hip the hoopla everywhere so thank you so much for taking your time watching and I'm wishing you blessings this is dedicated to anybody and everybody who needs a little bit of help just getting through some stuff and I'm especially dedicating this to a friend of mine Allison who um, I had lost my mom and then she lost her mom we you know we kind of uh, like understood the grieving process of that whole process of taking care of being a caretaker and taking care of somebody um, who's so near and dear to your heart. So anyway, that goes out to my friend Allison. I've been dedicating each one of these shows to some uh, people, but it's dedicated to whoever and whatever, um, you know, whatever you're going through. So whoever needs this, I hope this touches you and reaches you and I, I wish you blessings. Um, we have a lot of angels looking out for us, so you may have extra angels now. I know I have some extra angels now. So I have grandparents that I just lost this year. I have Kitty. I, you know, we we have so many so many friends and family who have uh, gone on to different places. So anyway, and I'm not the only one going through this right now, and that's why this prompted this series is because I have so many people around me who are experiencing great loss. So if you're experiencing heartbreak, uh, my heart goes out to you. My prayers go out to you. And hopefully this is helpful. So thank you so much. Rock on. Peace out. I will see you guys on the next episode. We're, we're, we're making, we're making the upscale of the, so we, we were kind of doing this and we're going to be going back up with this now. So we're reflecting, we're going to be healing and we're ending with peace. So uh, tune in and check those out, please. So thank you so much. Rock on. Peace out. All right. Bye-bye.